Hello, my pretties. Um, I'm currently extremely early for work because I had to take my son to his job. Um, so I figured this will be my chance to do my my weekly vlog because you know yesterday was Mother's Day and I want to say Happy Mother's well, belated Mother's Day to every mother out there. Whether you have children, pets, a man-child, you know, happy Mother's Day. I know all too well. Um, how hard it is to be the rock to your children and, and everything. So let me get into this. As I said last week, well, last week I didn't do my my log because I had nothing, absolutely nothing listed. Like I wasn't, I didn't take my weight because of you know that time of the month. I wasn't able to receive anything so it brings us to the week of the seventh um first off let me just say super excited i wish i was in an actual swivel chair so i could turn around in circles i weighed myself i'm below the 200 pound mark very excited for that I am actually 198 and a half, so I lost one and a half pounds. Super excited for that. Um, let's see. I worked out on the treadmill on Wednesday and Thursday. Let's see. On Saturday, I actually didn't feel like getting on the treadmill but I incorporated something new I did some sit-ups some crunches and some leg lifts and my lower abdominal area is killing me um, so I figured the day said I don't get on the treadmill I could be able to do that it's quick it's I want to say easy but it's not easy <laughs> Uh, let's see. And I was able to save money. You know, what I wasn't able to save the week before, I was able to save this week and then my normal. So, back on track with that. Um, as empties go, I have a few. Oh, here we go. All right, so the first one is OGX Thick and Full Bio Biotin and Collagen Shampoo. I did like this. This was really nice. and um, I got this in that Target beauty box that I tried. I ran out of this on Wednesday the 9th. It is the Belief Moisture Eye Balm. I missed this already. You know, my under eye area is kind of sensitive. And not everything works for that area. This worked, without a doubt twice a day. I love this. I miss this. I do have other eye creams that I'm going to be trying. But this one, as of right now, is my favorite. Uh, another thing that I ran out of, I think I got this in my 
like a year ago in my first Sephora play maybe or a sample of this in a Sephora I can't remember but it is the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. Love this. Very ex intense exfoliation. I mean, it is very, very nice. And not all the Kate Somerville products work for me. Like, I've tried their toner and their glow cleanser that made me break out like like no one's business so use the other one up of these Dennis Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic and Retinol recovery peel pads again I don't know what these did these did but I had a great makeup application every time I just wish they weren't so damn expensive a 16 count costs 88 dollars that's a lot and I'm still on the hunt for something similar because these were yeah the, these were quite nice it is it's really going to be hard to tell what it is but it's this it's this is from Urban Decay. It is the Ozone Priming Pencil. I use this for my lips. As you can see, it is like I still have some in there, but my sharpener can't go down far enough for that to get the rest of that. So I'm calling that done. I do have another lip pencil. It's from ColourPop. Doesn't scratch me, which is good. I don't have to sharpen it. Uh, let's see. And I have a few samples here. Let's see. The Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. Hated this. Hated this. This made every single one of my eyeshadows hard to blend. Like, I... I don't know what it is with it. I just... Every single... Didn't matter what palette I got it from. Every single one didn't work. It took me forever. Um, let's see... Uh, my next sample was the Amor Vixa Cleansing Foam. It was okay. It wasn't amazing or anything. It was okay. I mean, I only got to use this like maybe twice. So it really wasn't a really good testing. Uh, my last sample is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. You know, one, I didn't see any lifting or firming or anything. And also, people say that, oh, it smells so good. It has kind of a musky smell. Um, and I honestly have other moisturizers that smell better than this. This is not amazing. And like, if you bought the little sample size, not this little packet, but the other one, that's like $20. That's not worth it. It's not like the best smelling stuff around. Alright, and as far as sheet masks go, uh, the week that I had nothing really, I used the 
no heat J. Um, texture mask with aloe and mud. It's this one. It had, um, I took a picture of myself. I look really, um, scary. This was the one with the gold roses on it, which I thought were really cute, but I look really scary, scary and I can, I can see why my husband calls me leather, leather face because truly I look scary. And this week's was the Bonnie Hill Collagen Wrinkle Care Mask Pack. Again, oh, it was okay. Um, what I have been doing with these, there was a, a tip in my Instagram feed from Faceatory. Um, they said if you squeeze out the serum and you put it in a little container and put it in the fridge, you can continue using that serum. And that's what I've been doing. I've been, you know, I squeeze it out, put it in the fridge. The next morning, I use that as my serum instead of using the Kiehl's. And it's it's been working. Like, my, and my skin has extra moisture in it. So, it's everything can't wait to uh, get everything going again. Oh, wait, I think I forgot something. Here it is. I found it. It was in my lap. I don't... Here's the Skin Iceland Glacial Face Wash. It was nice. I know it's natural to a certain degree. It was it wasn't bad. If I was just if I was looking for a cleanser that just cleansed my skin, wasn't looking for any additional properties like, you know, firming or anything, I would use this again. And I like the cooling effect that it has. So it would most likely be great, like, after you work out to, you know, get that nice cooling effect to cool you down. You know, so, okay. 